Okay, so we're in the middle of Hilchas Nidav Peites, and it deals with all the Vesatot, all the different forms of calculation, all the incidents that can bring about a Veset, different kinds of Veset, a Veset Kavua, Veset She'ena Kavua. The last part of the Simen, which we'll do without Hashem soon, is going to be a little bit different than the typical. It's going to discuss Oynes. There was a woman that has seen uh, her period as a result of some sort of act, some sort of uh, exercise, physical exercise that she's done. Something that comes about as a result of simonim in the goof, where she actually feels something in her body. And towards the end, Mamish, the end of the scene, we'll talk a little bit about a young girl, initially how she got a period, a skena, when does a woman have her menopause, when is that determined or established, a pregnant woman, and a... So these different types of scenarios and circumstances are dealt with towards the end of this. Right now, what we're going to do is do a little bit of review of last time and go on to seeing the Mechaber in Sifu Dalet, the Sivavant Design, which deals with she deals with change from the, the, the regular Veset or the irregular Veset. So a change that occurs can be significant uh, in two ways. One, it could uproot the last date, especially in the Veset Sheino Kubua, that's a, a is a very, uh, I don't want to say unpredictable entirely, but it's not, it's not established, so it's not a firm date. So there's only something called a chashash. That's all she does. Have to look these certain days that she's choishish for. It could be the oin of which is once every 30 days. It could be the, the last half flogger that she had, right? The last 28 days or 29, whatever it was that she has to be concerned about. And the Yom HaChodesh, the day of the month, it could be either one of the three, actually, that will trigger uh, or, uh, the next period, in one of those three days. And, be, and they may be pretty close to each other, too. So there may be several days that she has to be on the, on the lookout. Whereas a woman that has a Veset Kavua is pretty much established and regular, and as a result of that, she doesn't have to be concerned with many, many days. Trouble begins when there's a Shinui. And those shinui and those changes can come for all kinds of reasons, but we don't know why they happened. We don't always know. And because of that, we have to be concerned. Maybe there's a change about to happen in her body. Maybe she's developing a different veset. Maybe she's switching over from a veset kavua to an eno kavua. And the other way around is also true. It could be that a woman who's been eno kavua, all of a sudden, she's becoming kavua. And... As we've seen already before, it could come in all kinds of forms and shapes. This veset, as far as regularity or cycle, see even something called sirugin of skipping. It could be a skip of a day, it could be a whole skip of a month. And apparently these uh, circumstances or these types of periods exist or existed in the past. And uh, obviously we need to learn that just to become familiar with, with the halacha and, uh, and the reasons for it because they can help us resolve all kinds of other complicated situations. So, see if you'd Gimel discuss an important point, that even though the period is set to be on a certain day, as a result of calculating the past three months, it is expected on a certain day, it's not going to be considered a Vesa Kavua unless it's exactly as it has been all along. And exactly means in the same Oina. In other words, it has to be at night, if that's how it was in the last three times. At As the Mechaber pointed out towards the end of Sif Yud Gimel, that Oshetir Eharishona Biyom, the Gimel Achronot Balay. Let's say she saw one during the day, and the last three at night. So you might think that this one that she saw in the day will interfere with the th- that she saw at night. Or Arishona Balayla. She saw one. At night, but the last three, Agimul Achronot Bayom was during the day. Or Shalosh Bezeh Shalosh Bezeh. First, she had a three during the day, and then three at night, or the other way around. Chosheshet Lachronot Bivah. She only has to be concerned with the last one. The last one is because the last one established a trend. All you need is three, and if those three were in the same oina, then that's okay. The, when does it not become a trend? When you have one in between the other. In other words, you don't have a set of three. So that was Sif Yud Gimel, at least in the Mechaber. The Ramon goes on, of course, into other kinds of situations. But as far as the Mechaber in Sif Yud Gimel was, that it has to be pretty accurate in order to establish a Vesel Kavua. And any 
variance, I guess we can use the word, a variance, and it was changed from the mean, from the, from what it's supposed to be, means that it's not kabua. It's not 100% kabua, even though it's close, close but no cigar, is that the, the same? Yeah. And uh, therefore, we don't have an established vessel kabua if they're not all in the same one. So that's important to know, uh, that even though it may be within a 24-hour period, it doesn't count if one is during the day and the other one is at night. All right. In the Ramal, we had a very interesting situation. And that was a Shinui. But in, but in dealing with a Shinui in the Haflaga, there could be two kinds. And they make a world of a difference. One is a Shinui where the previous Haflaga was short and the next one was long. No, well, she left it. She, she saw the last time she had it, it was two days, and now it's become 29 days. So that one is relatively easy because we say that the longer haflaga replaces the shorter haflaga. And that could be, it could be she's developing a longer haflaga. It becomes, however, complicated in halacha because, only because we have various shitas that if she had a long haflaga and now she's a shorter haflaga, she had it, let's say, every 28 days. Now she saw it after 20 days. Oh, what, what's that all about? You know, do we have to be concerned about these two periods? And the shach is one of the ones, and I think pretty much the poets can go along with him, that say, listen, the shorter haflogo takes away the longer haflogo. And this is a very important idea over here. So maybe we'll just review the three shitas over there in that, in that particular scenario. The first scenario, everybody pretty much agrees. The longer one replaces the shorter one. Where it becomes a little bit more complicated is if she all of a sudden saw earlier than what she was supposed to. So could it be that she's just having two periods in the same month? Maybe that, you know. So that's part of the problem, you know, in trying to figure out if this is something else or is this really a replacement of her, of her older period. It's no longer 28, it's 20. So we have the following yeshitas. Let's take an example. Let's say she used to see after 32 days, and now she sees after 22 days. I think that was the example that we used. So the first shita was the Rama, the Taz, who hold that she still choshesh for the previous aflogo until it goes away. As in Avesa Sheina Kavua, the only time you know for sure it's not coming back is if you wait once around for it. It didn't come, it's gone. So here, this shita would hold that you're still concerned about the previous haflaga because what she saw now, maybe this is tosefes domim. Tosefes domim means that maybe she's having more blood than the usual, and because of that, she has to be concerned with, with the two, the previous one that was is not did not necessarily go away, and the new one. The majority of poets can do hold like that. The shach holds that a flogo, the short of flogo, oikeres is a flogo ruka, the short one removes or replaces the, the longer of flogo, in the same way that the longer one replaces the shorter one, so does the shorter one replace the longer one. Why? Because he holds that this is a shinoi, a real shinoi, from what she was basically seeing all along. Comes along the, the third shita, the crazy placey and others, who pretty much holds something in between. And they say, we don't consider the fact that she, uh, the, when she saw after 22 days to be Tosefes Domi, that she's actually seeing more blood, and therefore it's just like an extension of her old period. We consider this a new event. However, they hold that a Flogo Ketsora, the shorter period, does not overpower or replace the longer period. So they're holding, you know, in other words, they say we're going to consider the, the the, uh, the number 32 as the main number, not like the shock said, that we're now considering the 20, the smaller number. We're still going to consider the old number, like the, like the Romo, the main one, but we're going to start counting from the last time she saw blood. We're going to consider that an event in itself, not just to self as Damim. And now, of course, she has, be, as a result of that, she has to be concerned for some additional uh, periods, Additional potential days. She still has, she has to be concerned from this last time, the 22 days that she saw, 32 days around. She has to be concerned with the day of the month. 
and they have flogger of 22 days as well, because it's another day. It's another potential day. In other words, it, one, a flogger, in this case, the shorter flogger did not take care of the older flogger. We still have to be concerned about the two. It's just a question is, where do you come, where do you start from? So these were the various shitas. If it ever does happen, you know, it, it messes up, of course, the period a little bit. Yeah. So she'll, from, but from the last time she saw it. And 32 days as so well. If she sees it 22, she doesn't have 22 and 32? Only if, she did not, only if she does not see it, be a concern. One, remember, once you start seeing it... One, one, yeah, once, yeah, once you... Yeah, but that's... Uh, the, when, you, when are you choshish usually? Usually, because there are some exceptions. When are you choshish when you haven't seen it yet? Right, so for a woman who does not have a vesicle, we have something called an oina benonis. Now, if all the days that she's choshish with came by, went by, and nothing happened, they're gone, right, with a woman who has no vesicle But let's say she has an aflaga of give or take, 26, 27, and it does come in one of those days. It's not kavua, it did come. She doesn't have to any, anymore wait for the oina benonis anymore. It's, it came, more or less. But if it didn't come, I still have a day of Chodesh to be concerned with, and I have a inner bit concerned with that it may come then. But once a, she gets it, but you are right. You are right. That's part of the, of the problem here is that at least in establishing a date for the future, here we have a period within a period. We need to figure out now what. But we need to figure out more the Haflaga, more than anything else. Because if she, in fact, does get it, you know, it may or may not make a difference. Now, the Ramo did say as follows. Haisha sheroso chosheshet leveset achodesh ule aflogo at shetikva veset achodesh begim until she has it, of course, three times or veset aflogo bedalet pome. Or if it's an aflogo, she has to be four times. Or sheti akar echad mehem. Or one of them is uprooted. Keitzad. Roso beechad benisan. And so that's his example. If she saw on the first day of Nisan, the Chof boy, and then the 20th, Chosheshes le'echot bi'ir. Why? Because of Rosh Chodesh Nisan. Now what happens if Ro'oso be'echot bi'ir? Ro'oso. As she was possibly expecting. And now he says, Oilo Ro'oso boy. And even if she did not see it, Chosheshes le'tes bi'ir. So he says, the Ramad does say, like you were saying, she did see Be'er, or Ro Ro, so it makes no difference. It could be, in this, in this particular example, because her haflaga is short, and only in this kind of a situation, that this, this, her, this is her new haflaga. So whether she saw or not in Aleph Be'er, she doesn't, it's hard to know, is, it, is she seeing on the Rosh Chodesh ear because that's her regular date, or she has an aflaga, and she had an aflaga of 20 days. Okay, fine, that's nice, so it was chof ear, the aflaga of 20 days, but all of a sudden, she saw in the Rosh Chodesh ear, right? Or she didn't see, well, she didn't see good, well, I'm expecting, then she's expecting it 20 days later. But what's, what's interesting here is that even if she did see it, and that's part of the problem, that's exactly what we're dealing with here. Is, you see what I mean? It, she's seeing a smaller aflogga, and as a result of that, do I have to be concerned about that smaller aflogga too? And the other one, right? So in the, in the way he words it, he has it, Aleph ben Nisan, Chof boy, 12, 20th of Nisan, and then let's say she did see it in Echot Be'ir, so that means that she did have it twice. She had it on the 20th of Nisan, and then she had it 30 days between Aleph Nisan and, and, and Echot Be'ir. So you have, in a sense, two kinds of aflogas here, or, or two periods here. You have the shorter one, or, or I should say an in-between period, and the second one. So what do you do next month? So Choshesh is the test Be'ir Shu Yom Kof Meri'iyas Yom Kof Shira'asa. Even though she saw a longer period, right? She still has to be concerned with her shorter period. 
Rosso be tes be er, or lo rosso, chosheshe se le esrim be er, she still has to be concerned on the 20th of er, shema kobolo veset kofle choidesh. Okay, so this is the other concern. But if she, but if she, on, on the first, on the, on the, on the, uh, right. What is, I mean, the pasta, that seems to be very super. Right, that, that's, you know, you're right. Probability, statistically, it, it's very possible that it's very li- more likely than not that she won't. The problem is, is that we don't know what's happening. So these are possibilities. That, that's what she's choishish, you know. What, what exactly is happening? It, it could have been a fluke, as, as some of the poiskim hold. It happened. You know, it, it's not necessarily establishing any more or anything different. But the, the problem is, if she has no vesit kavua, then she has to be choishish for it. So now the question is, okay, she's going to be choishish for it, but she has two aflogas now. Do we have to be choshish for two aflogas? Her regular aflogo is longer, her shorter, and she also has a short aflogo. Do we say that one aflogo replaces the other one or not? The longer aflogo replaces the shorter one. But what, what about those? Do we say the other way around that the shorter one will replace the longer one too? And the shach is the one that says, yes, that's all we have, the shach says. We, we don't have the old aflogo anymore. You know, you only have to be choshish for the last for those 20 days, right, that she saw, or whatever it was, you know, it was from her last two periods. In this particular case, it, they were short. And that's the only one she would have to be concerned about. All right, so th- that was a scenario where you have two types of periods, or two, uh, two periods that are close to each other within the... In Sif Yudala, Tesvav, and Tesain, it's a little simpler. You can have a situation where a woman has a veset kavua, and she has two kinds of shinu. It could either be that the, it happens on another day, or it could be that she just didn't see it when she was expecting it. These are two kinds of shinu. Now, if it happens once or twice, it makes a difference versus if it happens three. Because as we've been learning all along, three changes means that the original veset, even, though it was, even if it's kavua, is no longer the Vesa Kavua. Something else has replaced it. Now, has something else replaced it? Or is it just that she didn't see it anymore on that day? That also makes a difference, because when we say a woman has a Vesa Kavua, and for the next three months she does not see the same day, it could just be that she's becoming a Isho She'en with a Vesa She'en or Kavua. But it still tells us that because the next three times it's not what she used to have, then at the very least she's not going to have to be Choyshe for her old vessel. Three times she didn't see. So it does help us know that. It does help us that a woman who does not see it, her regular vessel, three months in a row, she sees it on other days. She has different half a different day of the month, depending on which vessel she has. She no longer will have to be concerned about her old vessel. If she sees it on a different day once or twice, she still has to be with her old vessel too. That too, because she has a vessel kavua. That they can come back any time. Now, if she did in fact see it on another day or another haflogo for three times, then she's basically replaced her old vessel with a new vessel. And once you do that, you're never going to go back to the old vessel. You never have to be concerned or think about the old vessel. It's been replaced and it's gone. Until when? Until once again she uproots the new one with a new date. It could be the same period that she used to have. Let's say she went from 25, now she's only every 26 days. In order for her to go back to 25, it's possible. Now it's only 25, but it has to be uprooted three times. When does it not have to be uprooted three times? If she did not see it on another day, necessarily. She just didn't see it. It could always go back. In other words, if she does not, if her vessel is not replaced by another day or time, she could technically always end up going back to her old vessel. In other words, let's say once and twice, instead of seeing every 25 days, she sees it every 27 days. So she, obviously she has to watch out for the 27 those days. Um, what happens if three times, uh, seeing it on the 26th, 27th, every eight days? So what do we say three times does? It uproots the 25-day period cycle. Okay. So now, what does that mean? She doesn't have to be choishes for the 25th day cycle. But she has to be choishes for whichever day last time it was. Okay. What happens if now she goes back to the 25th after three times seeing it on different days? 
she's gone back to her original rest. Why? Because that original 25-day cycle was never uprooted entirely. It was only uprooted that I don't have to be choshish for it anymore. I don't have a new cycle that is fixed. It hasn't been 26 all the time. It hasn't been 27 all the time. It hasn't been 28 all the time. It's been one month 26. So there's no set veset. That means she can technically go back to her original with one time. Oh, she's gone back to 25 days now. Now it could be that the next month it's 25 again. It's her old veset. Because nothing has really replaced it. So what has happened is that for three times, all it means is that the fourth time around, she doesn't have to worry about 25 days later. But if it does, in fact, come back at 25 days, it's come back. Yeah. So that's, that, that, that's what this evening I'm going to talk a little bit about. Shinuyim that can either happen as a result of a change from the Vesekavua to some other day, or what happens if a woman does not see, and how does that affect her. And there's a few makloikis in here, Shach, Taz, as to how to deal with them. All right, so maybe what we'll do... Let's see here. Before we read it inside, I'll just go through the main points. So in Sif Yudalet, we have the following scenario. We have a woman who has a Vesek of War, and she changed once or twice. Okay, so since it's only twice or twice, we're choshesh. Is that was in sequence? No, it could be that the next one, instead of 25 days, was every 27 days, that the next one was every 29 days. Was an, you know, was 29 days later. So 20, 29 days will be one of the example now came in sequence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there were two changes. Right. So it, it, there was a change once or even twice. And then what? Since she has a vesicle war, we say she's choishish for, for the old haflaga, which is 25 days, let's say, and to the haflaga, the new haflaga, and to the yom Chodesh, of course, of what she, when she just saw. A change even though she has a vesicle war, it's a change. In other words, it, we don't know. It could be that she's changing. So, at least for one month, the following month, we're concerned with this change. Plus, she has still the old haflogger to be concerned with. Okay. What, what she doesn't need to be choshish is oino benanis, because she has a vesicle war. That's clear. That everybody, pretty much everybody agrees on that. Almost everybody. Uh, because oino benanis is usually intended for a woman who has no vesicle uh, no, so here she has two dates, or three, I should say, Yom HaChodesh as well, to be concerned with. So if she goes back to her first Veset, since it's only once or two changes, the changes are gone, and they're gone even though they didn't arrive yet. In other words, let's say uh, uh, she went back to 25 days, and now 29 days coming. So what? She's already seen it, 25th day. In other words, she doesn't have to be, con- they got, the days are gone. Those periods, those, those days that she had to be choshish in the past are no longer relevant. She, was a, she had a regular vessel. It could be because of a flight she took. It, beca- it could be a lot of things. These, these scenarios are important. We'll see it a little bit later on for women who have been pregnant. Could they go back? Is the clock, did the clock change? You know, things happen in, in the body of the woman that can, as a result of all kinds of things, produce a change. So once she goes back, she's been having a Vesek of war, those other Shinuim are no longer relevant, and she's gone back to the first Vesek, she doesn't have to be concerned about the other ones. But Shinta, if she was, she changed three times, so we said that the first Vesek was Nekar. Now, the Shach, what's interesting here, according to the Shach, we said that even if she does not have a Vesek of war, she, does, she never has to be choshesh to the longer haflaga, because remember what the Shach said? Shach is the one that holds. Haflaga is always replaced even by a shorter one. Oh, she has a shorter one? So the shorter one is the, what she has to be concerned about. So that would be true by, you know, even by a woman who does a vesikavua. Here, it's a woman that has a vesikavua. Now, what's interesting is I noticed here that there are uh, several poiskim, among them the base mayor, the chavas das, who hold that it is possible for a woman to have two vesatot in the same. The only time that we say one replaces the other is when they contradict each other. Let's say you have two kinds of a floggers. You can't have two kinds of a floggers in the same month. Either it's 25 or it's 28. Or you have a certain uh, vesat of flogger and you have a day of the month. I mean, it, it can't be both. But it is possible to, to have two days of the month, according to them. I don't think every, anybody goes along with that. Uh, we pay uh, two days of the month. She sees on the 5th and she's on the 23rd of the month. 
So, Noyga Behuda and others are choylek on that opinion. You don't have two in the same month. It doesn't work out like that. No, it, it has happened, and it doesn't. That's what we spoke about, that a woman has seen within a, within a month two times, but not that this is establishing a pattern that uh, you know will continue on. It could be that for some reason she had domim yeserim, as the Ramos said, more blood. And she sees occasionally, but that's an occasional thing, not necessarily uh, a regular period. Uh, all right, from these halachas, and, and some of these are taken straight from the Gemara. The Taz and the Shach bring here the following scenario. It was based on, on, on Shittas of, of Rashi and Toysus. They derive the following halacha in the following scenario. If a woman has a Vesa Kavua for uh, 20 days, let's say, on two occasions, changed. One was 24 days, the other one was 27 days. Right? She saw it later on. On the third occasion, she didn't see it at all. Not that she saw it on a different day. So the first two was a different day. The third time was no, no period at all. So the halacha is that now, if she goes back to seeing after 20 days, she's come back to a vesset of, of 20 days. What does this mean? Let's say that the, the Shinui over here, in their, in their example, in the Shach and Taz's example, is the exact same day. So she used to see every 20, not every 20 days. Now she saw every 30 days. And she saw it on two occasions, okay? So it's not two separate changes. The same change occurred twice. Instead of 20, it's 30. The third time around, she didn't see it at all. So what will I think? I may think that her old Veset Kavua is Neka, it's gone. Because there has been three changes, right? That's what. We, that's what. That's how you are oiker veset. That's a kavua with three times. Come along and shock and taz and say no. She later on went back to seeing it every twenty days. She's gone back to her original veset. Why? Because the third time not seeing it does not count as an akira. The fact that she didn't see does not count together with the other two that she saw it every 30 days. And why is that? Because not happen? seeing is not an Akira, or at least it doesn't combine with the sh- Could be she skipped one day, it's not... Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's can't. not enough that the pattern does not repeat itself. It has to be... There has to be a, a pattern that replaces it in order for it to... Right, right, right. You, you know, it was either an irregular pattern, removes the Vekavua, or a real pattern, which replaces it completely. So not seeing it the third time does not constitute an Akira. The last one? The third one, right. In other words, even though you might think I have three, so therefore I had three, so it's all the same. I had two times every 30 days. Now she didn't see it. No, it would have to be the same all three times. So that's... So it would have to be also... Okay, also 30 days. 26 or 27, because she did see something. It would be only an Akira days. that she doesn't have to be choishish for her best. But, but it could return. It could return. It's not gone completely. If she sees it three times, the exact same pattern, it's then it's gone. It's been replaced. So there is a replacement if she sees it as a three times. Uh, then, then she doesn't have to be choishish for it, or not in the same pattern. And if she doesn't see it all, then she continues. Well, that's what we're going to see now, is what, what's the difference between not seeing it at all? Mm-hmm. Let's see, she doesn't see it for three times. How is that different than seeing it in a different way? There's a little bit of a difference, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to read it inside, then we'll go on to the next point. So you see, if you doubt it, it's a regila lido is yom esim. She used to see it on the twenty every twenty days. She has a vesek geshlo, has a vesek kavua. Veshim to liyom shloshim ze beze asurim. She changed to the thirtieth day. The third, she has a longer cycle, so the two are aser. Uchshe agi a yom kaf liriyas shloshim. Once twentieth day after the thirtieth day arrives, asura. Why? Because that's mishum vesek tarish, and that's her old cycle. But if she did not see, if she did not see, then Choshesh is of course Leyom Lamed. Then she still has to be concerned about the 30th day. What about Shinzo Pamim? Leyom Lamed. Pamaim Leyom Lamed. Let's say she changed twice to the 30th day. Zebeze Asurim still. What about Shinzo Gimo Pamim Leyom Lamed? Once she's changed three times in a row to a 30 day cycle, Huta Yom Kov, then the 20 cycle, 20 day cycle is Mutter. 
ואם לאחר ששין סוף פעם או פעמיים ליום ל', לא עשו לה סוף קוף, אבל אם היא רק שינת פעמיים או 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 Before we read Tezbov and Tezayin, another important point that the Poiskim explained that when it, when it comes to Veset Haflogo, you always go by the last Re'iyah, the actual Re'iyah, the actual time that she saw the blood, the Fual, and not according to amount of time that, that you're, in other words, you don't calculate it based on the amount of time that elapsed necessarily or that should elapse, but from the last point of Re'iyah. What does that mean? For example, let's say you have a woman that has a Veset Kavua for every 20 days. Okay, and she saw it on the 30th, the next time. It was a 30-day cycle. From now, you're going to be choshesh for 20 days. From what point? From the 30th day. You don't say that you're choshesh 20 days from the first 20 days. 20th day calculated. Where she should have seen it. Where she should have been for the 30th. Had it not been for the 30th, right. You follow me? It, it, the, the new haflogo that, that we're choshesh for is always from the actual time that she saw it. She saw it after 30. But you're still choshesh 20. I'm still choshesh for the 20, it wasn't the, right? It wasn't, it was, uh, but she saw it now. Well, no, no, no. You have to calculate it from the last time that she should have seen it. No, no, no. She didn't see it. She didn't see it then. So I calculate a flogger. This is a flogger. A flogger, I count, the, the police can write, you calculate always from the actual time she saw the blood. The actual day she saw the blood. It has to do with her body. That's correct. Yeah. Because time, then her body is the unit of when, when, when the next. As opposed to a day of a month or right, exactly. yeah, it, it works differently. It works differently. Very good. Yeah, that's how they point. That's what they point out. Apparently, there's different things that can can factor in here. There's either the body, or something else. That's a very interesting point, by the way. I didn't think of, but it's apparent. There's different forces at work that can bring it about. And then there's, of course, the other uh, forces with physical in nature, yeah, yeah, something. lifting something that can also Holding produce it something. without any kesher, any connection whatsoever to a day or to her body. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't mean a bloody nose. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's no, a, there are also some uh, yeah. that have yeah, yeah. similar. Yeah. When they, for instance, there was one, yeah. a person yeah. uh -huh. in New York. Sure. Abraham, young guy, he's a believable voice, very yeah. musical, uh -huh. beautiful. But with his full heart, he started Really? Yeah. Couldn't, uh, he couldn't certain, operate it? Certain sensitivities. Magic, yeah. Okay, another point is, let's say she changed. There was another change. She didn't see after 20 days. Comes day 40, which is 20 days later, and she didn't see it yet. Now, we don't concern ourselves with the 40th day for, for Haflaga. You know, it was 40 days, you know, it was, I'm going to calculate 20 for the first 20. You know, I'm not going to be concerned with the 40 days, you know, with, with that day coming back 40 days from the original 20. Once she stops seeing by a flogger, she doesn't, she doesn't have, once she stops seeing, there is no a flogger. See you know what I mean? You, you don't start saying, well, she should be getting it. And it's based on, on the original day, on the original first time that she missed that she should have seen it. No, it's gone. It's gone the first time around, right? So the, at least the shach says. Not everybody agrees. With the, shach, the way shach explains it is that once the haflogo is gone, there's no haflogo to work with. What are you going to say? Expect it 40 days from now. 40 days? Who ha Remember we talked about this? Who has a, such a haflogo? As opposed to a day of a month. She didn't see it on the day of the month. Next month, I still have to watch out for that same day of the month. Unless she gets it on another day of the month. Right? That replaces it. A day of the month, as, as we were saying right now, this is an example of something that does factor in another force out there that can produce it. Day of the month. Okay, she missed one. A flogger? You don't have another, you don't have a flogger to work with if she missed an haflogger. So as long as she doesn't see another time, she doesn't have a haflogger. So there's no chash for haflogger. Until she sees another time, then we figure out, okay, what was it? However, if she, if she saw it after 10 days, then that's the question that we had before. She had, she's supposed to see it every two. Now she had it 10 days later. Okay, that takes us back to the original Makoitis. Does one replace the other or not? What, is she concerned of, what does she have to be concerned with? Which days? All right, so let's see Sif Tesvav inside. 
Shinso, this is just a continuation of the various uh, types of change. Shinso re yoseo velo hishva oisom. Now let's say she did have some changes, but they were not the same. Kigon she shinso pam echos le yom lamed, vashen le lamed beis, vagimu le lamed dal. Let's say the first change was after 30 days. That's one side. The second month, it was after 32 days. The third month, it was after 34 days. So what did that do? That has the effect of nekar veset arishon. That has the effect of approving the first veset, which was a veset kavua. Ve'ila veset klal now. Now she doesn't have any veset because it's irregular. And, and she, she's dealt with a, like a woman who has no veset kavua. So what does this do? It means she doesn't have the chash of her old veset, but she doesn't have a veset either. What happens in Chozro Lira is beyom ha veset harishon? Now, let's say she went back to her original old pattern. It does go back because it's never been replaced by three of the same. She's always going to be concerned about it from now on. Until it's uprooted three times. Comes along the Mechaber and adds another thing, another halacha that. Huadin, the same would apply. If she stopped seeing three. So the same Allah as the Mechaber says, the same would be if she did not see at all, at all, for three times. At all. Not, not that she saw once, and not, you know, nothing. And now she goes back to original cycle of 25 days. She's gone back because she was never really an Akira. Not seeing is not an Akira. It hasn't been replaced. However, in the meantime, she doesn't have to be Choyshish. Because she hasn't seen it for three months. So it is, in a sense, semi-uprooted. As we said before, with the three different days, it's semi-uprooted that she doesn't have to be choishish. But is it gone completely? No. If it ever goes back, it's, it can go back. It's not replaced by a pattern. Not seeing for three times is the same halacha, pretty much. She wouldn't have to be choishish for it. But why expect it? it? Hasn't been there for three months. But if she does go back, she goes back. Why? It hasn't been replaced by a real pattern of, of another day. Yeah, yeah. So that's what could happen. Does she go back to her original? And that will eventually will learn. So that's the din in Tes Vov. In other words, she stopped seeing three. If she, if she saw, stopped seeing three times, and she went back to her original vessel, the first vessel goes back. Now, the Nekudas Akesef over here writes that there's a chiluk, there's a difference if. If it's a Veset HaChodesh or Veset HaFloga, Veset HaChodesh goes back even with once. He wants to make that Chilok. If it goes back to the original Veset of the month, it, once is enough. But he says with Veset HaFloga, you need twice. That it should be recognizable. Otherwise you can't, you, you don't know for sure. Veset HaFloga, you have to have two times. It happens one after another, then you know that it has gone back to the first with one time, he says, even if it's the original time frame, the amount of days that, that, are, that have traditionally elapsed, it, it's not Nika. You can't really tell if it really went back to that or not. By Chodesh, you can tell much more readily. With a flogger, you, you need two times. The Taz disagrees and says one time is enough. With Veset Chodesh, obviously, you are always concerned with the next month, as though you actually saw it. So that's why with Veset HaChodesh, actually, it's always, uh, even if you missed it, as we said before, you always uh, need to be concerned that it may still be coming back, even though you have, she hasn't seen it for a couple months. I think that's, a, you know, two months. Not seeing it for three months, obviously, would constitute three times. But it hasn't been replaced. It just means that you don't have to be Choshesh for it. I believe that would be the case, too, because if, if she doesn't see any, any form of Veset Kavur for three times, it's uprooted. The question is, what does it go back or not? That's a different question. That would depend if it's been really replaced or not. So not seeing something does work halfway, at least. That she doesn't have to be choshesh for it, but it, she may still end up going back to the original Veset. Okay. I'm just going to read inside Sif Tezayin. Sif Tezayin is a continuation of Sif Tezvov. Let's say we have the following example. 
How do you approve the vessel of Rosh Chodesh? A woman who will ordinarily see Rosh Chodesh, Ketzad. Hi, sorry, Gila Lira is Rosh Chodesh. Let's say she sees every first of the month. Rosh Chodesh. The overall Rosh Chodesh will not rise, and Rosh Chodesh went by, and she did not see. Chosesh is the Rosh Chodesh. She still has to be concerned with another Rosh Chodesh, with the next one. At she yabro le Rosh Rosh Chodesh. She has a vessel kavua here. She still has to be concerned about it. It could be she missed it. That happens. Until when? If in fact three Rosh Chodesh went by, it doesn't say that she saw it another day. She didn't see it at all. She doesn't have to be concerned about the next Rosh Chodesh. If later on, four months later, <laughs> she went back to see it on Rosh Chodesh, she hasn't been seeing it. Then the vessel goes back to its original place. Exactly, right? Because it hasn't been replaced. If it's replaced by another day, it's replaced. If it hasn't been replaced, it stays the same. Mr. Shem, the next seif will do a figure. We'll do it another time because it has to do with vessel shenikva machmas oynes. Just to, just to tell you a little bit of what it's about. It's not a, it's not a regular thing. It was nikva machmas oynes. Something happened to her. Let's say she jumped. She jumped from the second story. There was a fire or something. I don't know. She, she was jumping around. And she saw. Even if she saw several times like that, it's not a vessel. It could be because of what she did. Right? Now, what if she jumped on a certain day? It could be the day. It could be the jumping. Or it, is it the jumping on a certain day? So, we'll leave it to Mr. Shem for next time. Why would you be jumping yeah. on a certain day? <laughs> it just happened to be that she jumped know, also. Unless, unless right. on other days when she does. Yeah. Or on that day she doesn't get unless. Anyway, so th that's going to be part of the, what we're going to see next is what exactly can establish a vessel other than the regular natural uh, cycle. <laughs> Could it be something else that can factor in or not? So Mr. Shem will leave that for next. Okay.